guys uh, welcome back to my channel as you can see from the title of this video what we are gonna go for today is an almost one brand tutorial um, for my birthday I got a lot of YouTube related things because since that's what I've been into that's what everybody decided to help me with and of course that included some new makeup that I had to try out so I'm gonna use my favorite palette is my Tartiste Pro and for me this palette is just like really versatile um, it's got a huge mirror the colors are just so good and I don't y'all probably don't realize this but Tarte is one of my favorite brands of all time like there and I love Anastasia I love Urban Decay I love Too Faced you know I love all the makeup almost equally but for me Tarte is just so cute you know I love the packaging I love the mirror and I love the colors and with this having all these mattes and just like four perfect shimmers like incredible they couldn't have done a better job with that so here is a look at the palette and then along with this palette I also used my pro glow so this takes care of my contour and my highlight if you've never seen this it opens up like that which is so cute and I'm trying to get it in focus for y'all it's got four highlights a cream contour and a powder contour the cream I've never tried but I am excited to and I do plan to try it soon <clears throat> and then I just use you know my shape tape my blush my bronzer and a really pretty lippy I love this so um, keep watching uh, sorry this intro is so long y'all know I always ramble it's just a thing um, I hope y'all enjoyed this video if you aren't already subscribed to my channel hit that button get those notifications turned on you'll hear from me every Tuesday Thursday and Saturday and uh, let's get this thing going you guys Okay, so the first thing I want to do is just take a big fluffy brush and with my Pro Palette, if I can open it, <clears throat> oh, you can see I love this color. I'm going to dip into Classic that's right there and I'm just going to take that and put it all over the lid <clears throat> before I got on camera. I did my MAC paint pot so this is just going to set that down. So we're just going to put that on the lid and a little bit up in the crease. So for the next step you don't want to use, or well, rephrase, I don't want to use a big fluffy brush. What I actually want to use is a denser brush. Uh, this is not dirty it's just stained it's got I think it's supposed to be like goat hair or something but it's really it's stiffer and it picks up more pigment and for me it just blends a whole lot better so I'm gonna dip into Indy that is right here sorry guys still getting used to the ring light and the glare but I promise I'll figure it out Okay, so I just took that and blew it out all up in the crease. And by the way, guys, shout out to my mom who's probably watching this video. Look at what she got me. I finally have a ring light. So I need y'all to let me know in the comments if this is like way better quality than the viewfinder right here. It looks way more incredible than my videos used to, in my opinion. Um, but I need to know if y'all can see a difference if I need to turn it down a little bit I have it up as high as it'll go because I'm extra and I wanted it as bright as it would go so let me know what y'all think um, I'm just really excited to have some actual equipment my boyfriend set me up in this corner uh, he changed my backdrop out tried to steam it and get some wrinkles out of it I'm trying to get there for y'all okay so 
back to what we were doing. Um, I'm going to do a purple look. So next I want to dip into No Filter right here. And it's kind of a lilac color and I'm just going to put it all in my crease but a little lower down. Now that I have that, we're going to darken it up, which means I'm going to go in with Drama right here. And I'm going to put that even lower down in my crease. So the last thing I think I'm going to do for my crease is I'm going to take a little bit of Vamp. That's this color right here. Ignore my ratchet nail. I broke it across it this morning. I didn't like break it. It just chipped off my nail polish. Because I did gel nails. And the weights killed my nail. But that happens. So I'm going to take Vamp and focus it in this outer corner. And I've been using the same brush this whole time. You don't need a ton of brushes. You maybe need like two for a good smoky eye. Okay, so what I'm gonna do next because my left eye over here is like seriously lacking. I'm going to go back into drama and try to build that crease up just a little bit more. Okay, so that's going to be my crease. I look a little crazy, but y'all know I'm going to get off camera and clean everything up. But for my lid, I've been really liking doing these darker smoky eyes as opposed to always sticking a gold in the lid like I usually do. So I'm going to hop into Minx. It's got this really purple-ish color. And I'm going to get that on my finger and just put it all over my lid. Okay, so that gives me a really good dark smoked out look. Uh, let me hop off camera while I use the only not tart thing that I'm going to have to use. The only things I can't do with tart is going to be my, um, my eyebrows and my foundation. And I think everything else I can get in with the one brand. So I'm going to hop off of here, do my foundation and my eyebrows, and I'll be right back to finish up this look. See y'all in a second. Hey guys, all right, so I hopped off camera, I lied. <laughs> I had to do my foundation, my eyebrows, and my mascara. I don't have any of those in Tarte, and I don't have eyeliner. So we're just gonna go with no eyeliner today, which I think will be fine. So next thing we're gonna dip into is our shape tape. And this is in light and neutral. All my pale girls this is a wonderful color it blends nicely conceals everything and I'm just gonna blend out with a oval brush today because I forgot my beauty blender so we're just gonna put it here and here put three little lines there center of the nose here and here and for me today I have a monster so we're going to cover it up, and I think that's the only one that's visible enough to even worry about. And I've been using this for at least four or five months, and like I don't think I've used anywhere near enough to have to replace it. This stuff lasts forever, and even just these little dots go so far. If you can see, my little monster is gone. 
even in this mirror I can't see it now this elbow brush gets kind of tricky when I'm trying to get my under eye so I prefer a beauty blender because that point just gets up in the corner but this will work and this also works good for foundation um, I usually use a bigger one for foundation and a smaller one for concealer, but you can use the same one. And I think I need a teeny bit more under my eye. Last night was a late night and a very early morning. So these dark circles are real. I wish they weren't, but right now I'm so tired. That's better. So the next thing I always do, now I do things weird, y'all seen. Gonna dip into my Tarte Amazonian Clay Bronzer in Park Avenue Princess. This is just a sample size. I got it in an Ipsy. This thing has lasted forever and I've barely even made a dip in it and this is what I use anytime I bronze my face so this product will last you a very long time and I just take it and I bronze all the same areas that I'm going to go in and contour in a minute Now that we're super warm, I'm going to take this same brush and kind of swirl it around to get some of the bronzer off and then go into my Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in Blushing Bride. And same with this, this is just a deluxe sample, but, and this is new, but this stuff lasts forever. And honestly, both of these just came. This came in a Allure Beauty box. The other came in an Ipsy. So you can get deluxe size samples in your subscriptions that will last you forever. And then you can also know if you really like that shade. And when you do eventually run out, just go buy it. Okay. I'm going to put a little up here. So that is my blush. <clears throat> now I'm excited for, because this is brand new and I've never dipped into it. I finally got the Pro Glow Kit. Opens at the front and it's beautiful. The only thing I'm seeing that I'm not fond of is there isn't just a regular matte highlight. So I don't have anything to set my under eyes with, but that'll be okay. <clears throat> Now, I have never used a cream contour, so I'm just going to use the other one that's called Sculpt, and I'm going to take it on my regular contour brush that I always use and just sweep it down here. And y'all, I don't know what they do because I know this is usually a Too Faced thing. Both of these Pro palettes smell amazing they almost smell like chocolate but not quite i thought the eyeshadows palette smelled that way and then i thought maybe i was just crazy and i got this one and i was like oh, it smells good it's my favorite thing about makeup is when it smells amazing it just makes me so happy Just to soften up these edges, I'm going to go in with my oval brush and just kind of blend my contour out a little bit. And that should soften it down just a tad so that it's not quite so harsh. Okay. Now... I guess since we're already open into this, I'm going to take, uh, I really love these white bristle brushes. Like, I don't even know why, but I'm going to take this fan brush 
and I'm gonna go into lit up here and I'm just gonna get it on here and highlight with that Ooh. so this is super pigmented for just being a contour palette I am impressed Okay, so there's that highlight, and I'm going to toss just a little bit up here, just to bring that around, and put a little bit on my nose. Alright, so that's it for the pro glow, y'all, I'm so excited about that. This is a shout out to my boyfriend because he knew that I wanted this. He knew it was on sale. And so on my birthday, or like a couple days after we went into town, which is like an hour from us, and he took me to Ulta and he was like, go grab the palette. And they only had two left in stock. And so now I have that beauty. I'm so excited. <clears throat> okay, so now that my highlights are done. Um, I guess the next step is going to be my lower lash line. This is where my second brush comes in. Um, I always use a different brush for my lower lash line than I do for like my crease and my lid. Just because um, I like to do my whole crease and lid and then go through and do all my other makeup and then do my lower lash line. So if I use the same brush, I'm going to have that darkest shade on there. And sometimes I don't use the darkest shade on my lower lash line so that's why I do it in that order so we're gonna dip in and in order I'm gonna start with indie then no filter and then vamp yeah we're gonna skip drama and just go straight to vamp just so we can get a little bit extra so here's indie now we have no filter And now we're going to go into a vamp. And I'm going to try to be careful with this. Okay, now the only other thing that I need to do for this part of the look is my inner corner and my brow bone. And we're going to dip into glam for this. This is a very, very loved color compared to the rest of these. You can tell that this is the one I jump to the most and I always just get it on my finger just like I do for my lid and just pop it in the corner I might have gotten a little too much on that side but then I'm going to pop it up here you are 1.34 miles 2.15 kilometers east of the center of Magnolia Arkansas well, there goes Alexa just telling you all about my life. I don't know how that happened. Sometimes she just talks to me. Anyways, I'm going to blend this out just a little because this brow bone got a little too much shimmer. And just blend that down some. I don't like to get too much shimmer in the brow bone because I feel like it kind of takes away from the rest of the look. Okay, I have to put on my mascara and I don't have tart because I'm too impatient to wait to do this tutorial until I get in my November boxy charm where I will hopefully get the tart lash paint. So I'm using Lash Paradise. I already used it on my top lashes. But now I just need to toss some on my lower lashes. And I feel like I have like really crazy long lower lashes. Maybe I don't. Maybe they just weird me out for whatever reason. They feel really long, like I'm going to get a little closer to y'all in a second so you can see what I'm talking about. I mean, long lashes is never a bad thing, no complaints. They just always stick out so far. Because <clears throat> if you can see my lower lashes... Are like 
crazy long. I don't know, maybe I'm I'm just crazy. But that's okay, either way it's fine. Okay, so the last thing I have to do, don't laugh at my little baby lipstick. I'm gonna use a Tarte Lip Paint and Birthday Suit. And this, I, I only have this because this was the uh, birthday present from Sephora. And I also have Pillow Talk, but with that I have to layer some other stuff to kind of make it look right. So I'm gonna use this one, even though it is a little baby, but it's cute and it looks like it's gonna be a perfect color for me. So we're gonna go ahead and try <clears throat> this little sucker out and see how we feel. And there's never much in these, but I don't know if you're like me, I never wear the same lipstick two days in a row. So even the little baby ones last forever for me. So I was right, I really love this color so much. This is gorgeous. Let me not get that all over there because I don't want to overdo this. I made a mess. Okay. So this is a gorgeous color. I'm out of focus. Oh, my back. I'm back. I love, love this color, y'all. This is like the prettiest, like nude pink thing ever going on. But I did make a little bit of a mess, so let me clean this up. And you know. We got shape tape so no mess is ever too big for us to clean and I stand by that because I have done some disastrous things like if you go way back you'll see where I tried to do a wing liner and I just like trashed the whole thing and it was the steel liner so I couldn't get it back off and literally I covered black eyeliner with shape tape and you couldn't even tell it was there. And that is super impressive to me because it was incredible. So I think <laughs> that is it for this look. I hope y'all enjoyed my sort of kind of one brand tutorial. Um, I hope y'all are really digging this better quality. I know I am. I'm so excited about it. And uh, I'll see y'all on Saturday. Have a good day, you guys. Yeah.